to sound ungrateful, but we've no time for talk. Tolman was out here with me, and now... Piety has him. They're headed for the crematorium. I have no chance against Piety and your blackguards, but you... You're another matter entirely. Please. You found it in your heart to rescue me. Tolman is just as worthy of your generosity. Our paths meet in the shell of a long dead snail. An empire slow to see where its path was taking it. Built on the husk of another and destined to be buried time and time again. This city will see great things yet, Exile. But not in your lifetime. See you soon. A stranger walks into a town with a lost lover in tow. Sounds like the beginning of a jest, which I bloody wish it were. Problem is, we're still one doe-eyed lover short, which ain't much good to anyone. They tend to come in pairs, you see. Since you seem to be in the good deeds business, how about throwing a tollman into the bargain? 
The slums are east of here. It used to house the unwashed of the Empire a couple centuries back. Now it's home to the walking ulcers and sores of this poor city. Good luck to you. Maramua Padua welcomes you here to this village of circumstance. As you can well appreciate, we exiles make our homes wherever Rayclass allows us to. Although we all here harbor different beliefs, see with different eyes, we are united in our thanks for returning Clarissa to us. She is the gentle heart of this place, a spirit still capable of love in this wasteland of hatred. Yet, that gentle heart remains in jeopardy. Piety and her blackguard still have Tolman, and although he isn't deserving of Clarissa, she'll not smile until he's by her side. Dominus's Ebony Legion arrived from Oriath a couple of full moons ago. Now the Blackhearts scour San like hungry maggots on a carcass. What are they looking for? Only that which is best left unfound. Talakura. Watch yourself. You're alone. So, Tormund, you didn't go to the crematorium? No, of course you didn't. This isn't your fight. I'm sorry. It was wrong of me to put that on you, to ask you to risk your life for someone you don't even know. Don't worry. I'll work something out. I always do. Watch yourself. Come no closer, witch. The name's Grigor, and, as you can see, I've had my fill of your kind. So once you've finished admiring your sisterhood's handiwork, turn those icy orbs of yours eastward. Yes, you've brought Clarissa home to us, and once again she pesters me with pity. <clears throat> There's only so much broth, so many bouquets that a man can take. For a criminal, Clarissa has a strangely soft center. <clears throat> Still, I'd rather not see that heart of hers hardened. Use those dubious talents of yours for something worthwhile. Find her boymate, Tolman. Prove me wrong about your kind. Death came to town. The roaring Ezumites wore red. The red of blood, the red of the fray. Death came to town. The crying Azomites were black. The black of disease, the black of dismay. Death came to town. The silent Azomites were gray. The gray of twilight, the gray of decay. Only the Isles of Scoth were spared. Once a backwater of my proud civilization, now all that remains of the Ezomites. Goodbye, exile. Got myself banished from Theopolis Arena for dealing with your kind, witch. But this isn't Theopolis, and Leo Redmain's Arena welcomes anyone who can put up a good fight, or a bad one. It's not the methods, but the ruckus that matters to me. Speaking of which, stop in from time to time for a chat. I've always got a few events on the go. Exiles do love to bash each other, as if Rayclass wasn't enough of a challenge for them. But now and then, I like to streamline things. Make sure the ruckus has a bit of form and grace to it. Time you visit right, and I'll be able to point you in the direction of a right top-notch ruckus. You know, I have a few friends we should think about inviting over. Not your usual rank-and-file exile, or survivalism and vengeance. They're what I'd call your exile's exile far more interested in beating the corruption out of each other than in taking on the twisted hordes out there. A sensible coping strategy, if you ask me, and a damned fine philosophy for producing gladiators. Anyway, 
You just say the word. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to meet you. Eternals would travel from far and wide to see the spectacles of San Arena. The gemling diva Kalissa gave her final performance in there for Emperor Chittas himself. Legend has it, on that same day, the first gemling legionnaire cut through four Ezemite warriors in less time than it would have taken Kalissa to sing a single bar. It's seen more artists of war and of culture than any other place in the whole of Rayclass. Whatever becomes of this land, I'm going to make damn sure of one thing. San Arena will continue to celebrate the spirit of glory. God knows, we all need a bit of glory in a place like this. I don't mind admitting that Katarina scares me bloody rigid. Can't say I understand her obsession with the deceased, but it's not for me to tell anyone how to run their life, or death for that matter. Never been one to believe in God myself, but damned if I'm going to tell Ellery on that. Just in case I'm wrong, you see. A good fighter always knows where the exits are. Haku's a bit on the intense side for my liking. It worries me when a man can't see the funny side of life. Makes him real dangerous. Until next time. Welcome. Watch yourself. Hello.
Over here, exile. This land is crawling with vermin. Eight-legged, no-legged, and everything in between. Life here has become twisted and hateful, and it's eating Rayclast alive. Unless we do something about it. Unless we clear away this infestation. Nature doesn't stand a chance while it has creatures like that at its throat. You want to make an impression around here? I have a certain pack of vermin in mind. A truly twisted and ravenous lot. They range across quite a large territory, so be prepared to cover some ground. Hunt them down wherever they might be and put an end to them. For this hunt, I'm going to share a piece of bushcraft with you. Well, bushcraft smeared with thaumaturgy. The corrupted creatures tend to mark their territory with their foulness. This trick allows you to pick up that scent and follow it home. The whole thing stinks of corruption, I know. But you can't expect to put your nose to the ground without getting it dirty. The Monkey King has built his throne on your back. A throne of gold and gem, polished with blood and tear. Throw off the Monkey King and his shining privy before your back is broken. You hear that? That's the sound of nature taking its first decent breath in far too long. The more vermin we turn into fertilizer, the more nature can breathe and grow in peace. Come see me when you're next in the forest encampment. I can always use a good color. When you build something like this, you make persecution a way of life. 